Paul Ainsworth. How are you? Padstone number six. Is that the right title? Yes, that's it. The ten questions that every chef wants to know. Beans or spaghetti on toast? Beans. Blondes or brunettes? Blondes, all the way. HP or ketchup? Um, both, actually, depending on what. If it's, uh, if it's a sausage sandwich, then it's uh, HP and ketchup. Um, yeah, I love ketchup. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you star boys, you're too picky. <laughs> the biggest cowboy trick that you've seen or that you'll admit to? Um, I think it always goes back to this uh, this place I, I once when I first started out, and it was just a little hotel and that. And now, it, at the time, it seemed really, really normal. But now, looking back on it, it always tickles me, make, makes me laugh. Is uh, is that the carte menu was completely in the freezer because you had this other menu called Tabla Do, which was kind of like the the menu that the residents would mainly eat. But then every night the chef would fill the sink up and he'd have a couple of fillet steaks in there and a couple of lemon soles and that. And that was, it, looking at it now, the whole a la carte menu was just defrosting in the Fantastic. sink. Fantastic. You know, and stuff like that. And he also used to, one of the garnishes on the dish was, uh, which I used to think, oh wow, that looks smart. And that, he used to put a flick of double cream and then he used to put some gravy browning drops in the double cream <laughs> and then, and then fe fe feather, it. feather it. No. Yeah. And that was with the deep fried brie and uh, Cumberland jelly. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Okay, <laughs> the worst injury cut or scar that you've seen or that you have? Um, I think yeah, I had quite a lot of burnt arms when I started it. When I started on the sauce at Royal Hospital Road, and I think uh, I think it was when I was at probably at Royal Hospital Road, and it just started off small, but then it got infected and just spread right across my Ow. whole my whole hand and that, and that was just a, a hot fat burn and that, but. At the time, it was pretty big, yeah. and then when I got to the hospital, the doctor was like, "You know, it's ridiculous. You know, if you if it's bigger than a fifty pence piece, then you should, you know, come in and, uh, you know, come in straight away." And I'm thinking, "You've no idea, mate. You, should, <laughs> you, you tell that to Gordon." Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, next question is quite apt then. Marco or Gordon? Heston. Fair enough. <laughs> no, fair enough. The last CD you brought or downloaded was. Um, I think it was. Stereo Sushi by Head Candy, I downloaded. Fantastic. And your last meal on earth would be? Um, KFC in the Maldives with my wife. Fantastic. Well, yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? It's quite difficult. No, 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 no. <laughs> and last but by no means least, name one item that you couldn't cook without. There's lots, but it's got to be my team. Fantastic. You know, they work. They work. Their, they work their nuts off, and you know they're um, they they deserve, You know they're just as important as you know. It could be. You could say lots of things. Salt. You know, chocolate. Lots of things. But you know they're they're a, they're an instrumental part to what we do. Paul, thank you very much. You're a star. Thank you.